Hey guys, in this video we'll be collecting some Santa Sana stones for the event that is currently out for Christmas. Mystic Christmas, the Obliging Santa. <laughs> so for this drop quest, the only on-banner unit I'll be using is the Event Eater, which I have a lot to say about. But let's just continue. I will attack both sides with Ata and uh, Ejir as such. And if the center double decides to attack, he'll be forced to attack the left uh, Ata with his evasion. So a safe attack. Uh, not for my protagonist though, which I fully seated. Uh, very good choice apparently. Uh, but yeah, I can just uh, terminate this by doing my units as such. Finish it off as such. So Ejir has this really powerful skill, s several skills actually, of being able to inflict charm every turn uh, just by being near units. Uh, unfortunately, he wasn't in range for any of them for me to demonstrate uh, in this turn. Uh, and also stealing uh, buffs from the units he hits, as well as the enemies that are adjacent to the units he hits, as well as being able to inflict charm on those. So it's really quite stacked. He, and honestly, like, he has... That's not even the best part of his kit. The best part of his kit is probably being able to... Uh, take the buffs of his allies that are adjacent to him. And unfortunately, uh, with my setup I'm currently using, uh, there's not really a, an optimal attempt to do that. Because I'm better off just constantly moving my quad. Uh, but in this case, I guess I suppose I, I can take the, the concentration from... Uh, what should I call it? Actually, uh, it, it doesn't matter if I, I take concentration. I'll just move my quad forward because I need uh, my A to deal a bit more damage. With Vigor, which he did not activate. Um, my A is on trouble. Yeah, he's done. He's done. Oh well. Uh, oh, it doesn't matter. So he likes took everyone's buff there, but <laughs> that did nothing because he already had everyone's buff. I'll just have uh, Clock pop that sick charge attack so that everyone gets a bit stronger with attack up. And look at that. He just, by existing, he was able to inflict charm to two units. And he has it. Uh, Ability to inflict charm just by uh, attacking too with his normal attack. So there's no reason to move Ejir again, even though that's <laughs> in the future that'll be his best part moving him. So instead of that, I will opt to uh, move the units as such. It's a risky play playing with Quad with his skill evolution, but it it pays in dividends. Pays in dividends, whatever the expression is. Yeah, it's a uh, very normal for a lot of units to be dying when you play this squad. But I'm not too worried. Okay, no guts. I'm not too worried. <laughs> uh, uh, uh... That complicated movement I have pretty much memorized. To have two units uh, from the right side move to the left side uh, with the same up down positioning. And yeah, just like a lot of, just like the Jang C level eight quests. Uh, you're at risk for losing lots of units regularly, and I'm using two five stars for six. But it's okay. A win is a win. Try to pull for Ejir if you are planning to pull in this Christmas banner. I didn't, but I would say that's the number one you need to pull for.